Hey guys, I'm happy that you are here. My name is Betchoy and I am your plantita from Mindanao. Tara at samahan niyo ako sa aking plant journey. To those who are new to this channel, most especially sa mga hindi pa po nakapag-subscribe, kindly click on our subscribe button and click on the bell notification as well para maging updated kayo sa ating mga latest uploads. And also, please follow me on our other social media accounts that's aside from our YouTube. We do have a Facebook page and our page is Betchoy Vlog. And we also have an Instagram or IG and our ID is Betchoy underscore vlog. And let's talk about plants. And for today's video guys, we will be unboxing our imported plant. So ano ba yung laman nating box, mahiwagang box na andirito? So, meron tayo dito mga anthuriums and some humalumenas from abroad. And maybe you're already familiar that we are into selling plants. So there are actually two ways for us to be able to sell plants. Number one is to propagate them and number two is to buy plants. So specifically for this one, this is an imported plant. Um, order so this is from Thailand and I'm very much excited na i-open and unbox yung ating mga plants. So let us now open our box and we'll be needing some cutters and scissors, spare of scissors for this. So basically uh, so actually guys ito um kagagaling kakarating lang ito um, today and i-unbox natin kaagad. So just like any other unboxing videos, right? Any unboxing ng mga plants, but it's very important that as much as possible, the soonest possible time, I ma unbox din natin sila kasi it's quite a bit stressful na environment para sa ating mga plants na nakabox lang sila or hindi sila masyano nakakahinga. So let us now open this. Here, here they are. And actually, for the information of everybody, kapag nag i import po tayo ng mga plants, as um, ina-approve po sila to number one, to save on the space on the box para marami tayong mga pagkasya ng mga halaman dito sa loob ng box. And number two, to save on the shipping cost kasi kung patid sila guys na isa-isang pinapadala dito, um, expect natin na magiging malaki yung ating shipping cost for that one. And in turn, yung ating plant cost din or yung pagbenta din natin, magiging mataas din. So, this is Actually, uh, the good thing lang with this batch of plants natin, I most of them are anthuriums and si anthurium naman ay very sturdy na plant at kakayanin nila na kahit na ma uproot sila. Oh, this one, this is our anthurium foliage pala. And tignan niya kung gaano kaganda yung kanyang roots. So, bubuksan natin ito later. So, for this video, this will just be an unboxing video. Mamaya na lang po natin i-repat kasi sobrang dami. So, Papakita muna natin yung ating first plant. This is actually Anthurium foliage. And uh, this is our pink series. And you can see here the dark pink. So for the new, there are actually some parts or some leaves here na makikita natin na parang color white pa siya. But that's just the start of the leaf. This one, this is just a newly unfurled na dahon. So kaya medyo color white pa yan. But then later on, Magta transition yan yung foliage na magda dark green and then eventually magiging color pink yung kanyang variegation. Punta tayo sa ating second plant. So this one you can also see guys na nakarap siya ng newspaper. So the main purpose of this one is para ma protect din natin yung ating mga dahon sa lob and then di siya ma damage. And uh, yung mga foliage kasi we are familiar naman na yung kanyang a spread ng down is mo mostly yung parang pakraw na style. So, one of the good thing with the anthuriums na pag ini-import, talagang makakahanap tayo ng paraan paano tayo makatapid sa shipping. Kasi nga, pwede lang silang takpan ng ganyan. And then the leaves will be protected. And then you can see here, guys, actually parang, parang wala lang din namang nangyari sa kanila. This one naman, this is another anthurium foliage. And as compared earlier, we can see na medyo color pink yung kanina. Ito naman may pagka-copper tone yung kanyang color. May pagka-almost color brown. And then actually, combination din siya ng uh, iba't ibang colors. May light green, green, and yung may pagka-copper tone na color. So again, this is another variety of our anthurium. Mamaya na rin natin yan i- 
uh, rear pot so we can proceed to another antfall natin. So for this one lang, um, maybe one observation that we can see here guys, kasi nga, in uproot ito, pero hindi naman siya totally uprooted na to the point na wala ng medium na nakalagay. So meron siyang konting-konti lang and you can see here na medyo moist pa siya, hindi siya talaga totally dry. So another ant fall natin, anterior foliage. This time, um, it has uh, color pink na mga variegations as well. So, and actually, there are some pots here na parang pwede siyang itop cut but then it's not advisable na yun yung gawin natin kaagad kasi nga medyo stress pa yung mga plants natin. So, wag muna natin silang... Um, suggestion ko lang is hindi lang sila ipopropagate. Let's unbox another um, anthurium here. Yeah, I think this is another anthurium and this time this is a much bigger plant as compared to the earlier ones na na-open natin, na-unpack natin kanina. And ito, let's see, I'm quite excited to see ano yung magiging kulay nito kasi minsan sa dami din na order natin. Hindi na natin ma-memorize lahat ng mga plants. So, again, another multicolored na anthurium foliage. Here, kitang-kita ko yan. Napakagandang color, pink. Sobrang ganda. And medyo malaki na rin yung kanyang size. Kita nyo guys, another multicolored. Color pink for this one. And then, yung mga older leaves niya, may pagka-copper tone ulit. Medyo mahahaba. Meron lang mga konting issues ng mga ganyan. Pero ito, um, it already has this one even before pa. So again, tignan nyo po kung gano'n kaganda yung kanyang root system ng ating anthurium foliage. Yan. Sobrang ganda ng kanyang ugat. So, that, this means to say na very stable talaga yung ating ant falls. So we have here another uh, variety guys and I believe this is our homalomena. Kanina puro mga anthuriums yung ating inanpak. So ngayon ito naman yung ating homa. So this is actually our homalomena mint. Saglit lang. Ayusin ko muna kasi alam ko andito na yung mga dahan ayun. Nakana din siya guys. Actually it's really, uh, in terms of the packaging naman, napakaganda ng pagkapak ng ating mga plants including this one, you are maybe familiar na yung mga homa naman or yung mga homalumenas are quite sensitive na mga plants especially kasi malilit yung kanilang mga dahon Ooh, nasa na ba yun? ay, andito so, akala ko medyo malaki yung ano niya kasi napakalaki na kanyang pagkapak pero it was, I think it was done so as to protect yung uh, dahon sa itaas kahit na baka masagi siya or maipit siya ng other uh, plants natin. So that was a very good way din sa pagpak ng ating humalumena. So again, yung mga humalumena po, they are very known to be very sensitive ng mga plants. Mga dahon nila uh, maninipis. Tsaka ito, also with this specific pot po natin kasi this is still a juvenile pot and maybe we can see here, meron nga isang lumang dahon dito na parang nag-give up niya but then that's okay. Um, for this specific pot niya, I think this is a multi-stem na humalumena. And for reference lang po natin guys, I'll be showing to you a picture of a mature form of this one so that we can better appreciate its beauty. Kasi sa ngayon, sa medyo juvenile pa siya, hindi pa natin siya parang konting mint lang na mga variegations. But then later on, um, with the pictures that I'll be posting in this video, um, makikita natin kung gano'n siya kaganda once na nag-mature yung ating humalumena. So this one, this is another pot ng ating humalumena um, ruby scents with mint variegation. So for this variety, I think this is, um, if I'm not mistaken, this is endemic po sa Thailand. I, I could be wrong with this one. I'm sure na yung mga sikat na sikat na dati na ng mga humalumena tricolor, mga humalumena um, oria, Ano siya, parang local siya sa Philippines kasi seldom do I see them being posted sa mga Thailand na mga pages. So this one naman, I believe nga na galing ito ng um, Thailand. So this is their specific, oh, it's a much bigger uh, pot. I mean, uh, plant. Yan, mas, malaki, mas malalaki yung mga dahon niya. Again, this is another humalumena mint. And... Um, 
yung medium niya actually hindi siya punong puno dun sa kanyang pot and then they also placed here yung um, cotton sa may medium na para para in case na maano siya ma upside down yan hindi siya mahuhulog talagang intact pa din yung ating homalumena and maybe you can already see one big difference between the homalumena and the anthurium foliage that we have uh, received si anthurium foliage po ay uprooted while si ano naman homalumena ay hindi po siya uprooted kasi nga these are very sensitive ng mga plants so kaya hindi siya naka-uproot and then this is actually one of the um, parang sort of uh, negative sides of importing plants from abroad kasi once they arrive here we should be expecting na medyo meron talagang mga flaws um, at times hindi nga siya konting flaws malalaking flaws so this is one of them yung parang medyo manghihina talaga yung ating plant and then there are some other leaves na magkakaroon ng damage but then that's the risk also of buying imported plants so it's already our responsibility as buyers of these plants and uh, prospectively as future sellers of this one kasi ibebenta nga natin ito later on it's already our responsibility na pagandahin siya ipastabilize siya before natin siya i-out sa ating market okay guys so we are already done with the unboxing of our Homa Lumena mints and we actually have here 10 pots so sa ngayon um, tinanggalan natin yung mga cotton even the covers dito sa ating mga um, pots so we can see here yung medium na ginagamit nila yung merong mga coco cubes so for the meantime uh, lagay natin muna sila sa area na bright and then wala muna direct sunlight as much as possible and then wag muna natin silang i-water for the meantime kasi medyo uh, I can feel here na medyo basa pa yung ating medium so guys, we made a shortcut. So ginawa ko, in-unbox ko na lang sila lahat ng um, sabay-sabay na hole para at least mas mabigyan natin ng oras yung pag-flex or yung pagpapakita ng mga beauty ng uh, iba't ibang mga anthurium foliage natin. So all in all, we actually have here, um, I think almost 30 pots po ito lahat and then different varieties na ating mga anthurium foliage. All of them are foliage. So dati, when I was still starting with uh, plants, actually, kind of thought na yung foliage iilan lang sila um, uh, we are only familiar with the white series pink series or yung iba mayro mga orya na mga variegations but then right now habang tumatagal actually na may napakarami pala mga varieties yung ating mga unfold and maybe i um, maybe maibibigay ko ng mga id ay di correct so maybe you can just advise us or comment sa ating comment section kung ano talaga yung correct id for this one but then for this one sige it, let's try to flex them uh, this one, uh, foliage naman na meron mga pink variegations. Not that heavy though, pero um, ito yung pinakabagong daho niyan. We can see na parang nag okay naman siya. So the best thing to do with this one lang is, of course, to provide it with a good medium. Yung medium na airy, chunky, fast draining yung talaga yung pinakakailangan ng ating uh, anturium, yung fast draining. And then, um, with some good lighting, hopefully we can improve that one. This one, this is a smaller pot naman. But we have here a very beautiful uh, specimen natin. Napakagandang variegations niya guys. Yan, meron siyang color pink. Then elongated leaves. Most of the unfold natin, they do have yung mga elongated mga leaves. This one, another pot. And actually, this is uh, also very beautiful. Yan, meron din siyang mga pink. Actually, medyo color orange na yung kanyang um, variegation for this one. Malaki na rin yung kanyang mga dahon and let's see here saan ba yun ito yung pinakabagong dahon nata if I'm not mistaken so I have seen here isang uh, magandang pot as well this one this is my favorite amongst all kasi malaki na siya and at the same time sobrang ganda ng kanyang uh, variegations especially with this leaf here yan it's uh, really uh, it's re it's very pinkish and the other leaves naman, I think yung mangyayara dito is mag-start siya siguro medyo color pink. Then later on, baka mag-transition into this medyo color orange or light na may pagka-copper tone din na color. So for this specific pot natin guys, let's just have um, sort of an estimate ballpark figures on how much this one, if ever we'll be selling this one, kung magkano na ba ito. So just to give you an idea guys, actually the prices of our anthurium foliage, especially with the variegated ones, it varies depending on the size of the plant, the quality of the variegations, the type of the variegation. So we can expect uh, generally bigger pots or yung mga bigger plants natin, 
generally mas mahal yan kasi nga mas malalaki na sila, mas matagal silang inaalagaan. Yung mga dahon na I mean yung mga foliage naman unfold natin na may mga heavy na mga variegations yung sobrang ganda uh, in terms of the quality of the, the variegations example is this one. We can also expect na medyo magiging pricey din siya as opposed or as compared with other pots naman na medyo minimal lang yung kanyang mga variegations. And then also um in terms of the type of the variegations, uh, based on the current market trend po, yung mga unfolds natin that has red variegations, they are the ones that are considered to be major rare talaga. So, major pricey sila as compared with the ones na may mga white variegations, may mga yellow variegations, and even with the pink variegations, si red variegation na mga unfold, yun yung considered to be major pricey as of the moment. But then again, um, it's not fixed talaga or yun talaga yung ating um, basihan ng prices kasi there are some other pots na medyo maliliit lang din sila. Example lang, eh, not specifically for this one, kahit na ganito lang yung kanilang size but then um, they are much expensive as compared with the other pots kasi again, it, type of the variegations, the red ones are considered to be medyo pricey. And I can also remember guys when I went to Thailand last year during the Plant Expo um, November 2022, Yung expo na yun, actually it's also a contest of the different plants. So, what I can remember is yung isang ano natin, um, yung nanalo doon na anthurium foliage, actually medyo color red yung kanyang um, variegation, sobrang laki na nun. Um, human size, I think bigger than human size pa siya. And then yung price niya ay umaabot na ng almost, uh, meron talagang umabot ng mga 7 digits, so just imagine how much that um yung ano din kasi ng mga anthuriums natin guys they are expected to be i mean they are known to be slow grower talaga so it's also one of the reasons why siguro medyo pricey pa rin sila ngayon sa plant market and then actually kung magpo-propagate naman tayo ng anthurium pwede naman siyang i-top cut or yung through seedlings yung sa top cut medyo mas mabilis siya kaso nga lang iisang uh, baby lang yung makukuha mo agad-agad yung sa seedlings naman uh, medyo madami yung makukuha mo uh, sige, maghanap nga tayo dito para makakita tayo ng mga um, pots natin, anthurium na meron ng mga seeds. So, yan guys. So, ito guys, papahinugin muna siya before natin siya pwedeng ma-harvest. And then, later on, ipapadry yan, ibibilad sa araw. So, ilalagay lang siya sa medium. And then, let's expect na around 2 to 3 weeks mag-start na po yung maglabas ng mga dahon. So, let's move forward dito sa mga ibang pots natin. Um, this one, hindi pa natin ito na ipakita. So, ito nga guys, um, different types of um, ant falls po ito. This one, yan, malalaki na yung kanyang mga dahon. And then, in terms of the variegation sa man, meron siyang color uh, white and green, light green, and some color pinks as well. I've seen here, isang pot natin na malaki na din. Uh, ito, yan. Medium size siya. And then we have stunning variegations as well. Then color white, green, and some color pinks. This one, my din ako nakita dito na sobrang ganda din na pot ng ating ant fall. Ayan. Yeah, this one, these are considered to be premium na mga ant falls natin, guys. So, actually, the what uh, based on our experience, ito, konting sun stress lang, mas maha-highlight pa talaga yung color ng ating anthurium foliage. And ito na po yung pinakahuli nating if a flex na anthurium foliage and actually um, amongst all here I think this is one of the most premium natin na variety. It could be smaller but then you can see here guys kung gaano kaganda yung kanyang tahon. So this one I think the idea of this one um, is pink phoenix natin siya. So sobrang heavy ng mga pink variegations niya. So kaya siya tinawag na Phoenix, I think it's because of the spread of the variegations, yung type na kanyang variegations. And then for this one, I still have to check kung magkano ba yung price equivalent nito. So that's it guys, that's our episode for today featuring or unboxing our Anthuriums and Homalumenas uh, from Thailand. And I hope that you have enjoyed our video. And once again, this is Betjoy, your plantito from Mindanao. Happy planting!